With all assessments, we're going to start with a subjective assessment. So that is the information that I can get from my client. Now that might be as simple as name, date of birth, details about who they are, their lifestyle, medical history, but also it will start to narrow down a little bit more about the problem, about the reason they've come to visit. So what we're going to do is I'll talk through what information we're looking for, why we're looking for it, and then I'll start to demonstrate with TAMS in a consultation so you can see how that works in practice. So the first thing we're going to do is get some personal details from your client. Now you need that sort of in terms of a safety point of view, data protection also, but also so that you just help to understand a little bit about who they are, their situation, and that will lead us into then their lifestyle details. Are they active, sedentary? What are they sort of getting up to normally? And then pre-medical history, if they got anything that's relevant to massage, but also anything that might stop you massaging is really important to notice now, not when they're on the couch. <laughs> so you can fill these in yourself with the client, but the first time someone comes in for a treatment, what I'd suggest is you either go through that information and confirm it's correct, or actually fill it in with them. So in this case, I've asked Tamsin to fill it out at reception in advance of her appointment, and we're going to run through and we'll check that information. So, first thing to do is introduce yourself to your client. So, Tamsin, I'm Charlotte. I'm going to be your massage therapist today. Hi, Charlotte. All right. Yeah, all is well. So, thank you very much for filling this out. I just want to run through and just confirm. So, you're Mrs. Tamsin Slavin? Yes. Yeah. And date of birth, 21st of the 5th, 73. Yes. Perfect. And you can confirm your dress is for Hayden Road, Radstock. Is that yes, correct? Yes, that's correct. Lovely. And the best contact number for you, 07947. 697481. That's correct, yeah. Perfect. And we're hoping not to have any emergencies, of course. Um, however, if we do, um, the best person to contact you've written down here is Paul. He's your husband. That's yes, correct? That's correct. Lovely. And we've got his mobile number as well, and that ends 611. Is that yeah, correct? That's correct. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to ask you a little bit about your lifestyle. It tells me a little bit about you, who you are, sort of how it might be linked to the potential issue you've come in with today. So what's your occupation? I'm a sports massage therapist. Very good. So okay, so you know exactly what we're, this is all about. Um, and is that full or part time? Uh, full time. Lovely job. And so physically related work activities. I mean, you're going to be on your feet quite a lot. I am, yes. Um, and anything else you sort of would notice about that? Well, I'm dragging a lot of the heavy stuff around because I do a lot of home business. Okie dokie, perfect. So, and then outside of work, any mm -hmm. hobbies, interests, activities? Uh, we have a lot of animals to look after, so that's quite heavy going. And we also grow a lot of fruit and vegetables and have a small orchard. Okay, so there's quite a lot of sort of activity involved yeah. there as well, so... Right, and the last thing I need is just in case we need any to refer you for anything or any additional information, we will of course ask you for permission before we contact them. I just need to take your GP details if I may, please. Yeah. So what's the name of your GP if you know them? Dr John. And the surgery? It's uh, Radstock surgery. And do you have an address for them at all? or? Uh, yeah, it's Radstock Road. Stock. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you know their contact number, do you? If not, we can very easily look at that. 01761 444 344. Perfect, that's really helpful. Thank you very much. I will pop that to one side for a second. Now, we're just going to have a brief chat now about your medical history, just to check that we're safe treating, no reasons that we can't treat but also anything that we need to do to make sure your treatment is safe or to adapt to the way that we treat for you. Yeah. So, in the last six months, have you had any of the conditions that we gave you a sheet before you arrived, yeah. um, emailed it over, any conditions on that sheet? No, not at all. Good. And have you visited your GP in the last six months? No, I haven't. Perfect. So you describe yourself as fit and well generally? Generally, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the reason you're here today. Yes. Um, so that's fine. So we don't need any permission from your GP in order to carry out treatment today because it's self-referral yeah. um, and no health conditions. So that's fine. So what I'd like you to do is just have a check of the information here. Yeah. And then I'd like you to just sign on here to check that information is correct and that you're happy for us to proceed today. Yeah. Perfect. And then I'm going to pop my signature on as well. So this is really, really important that you get your client to check the information 
and then you get them to sign. That is really important. It must all then, of course, be stored in accordance with the Data Protection Act. It can be an e-signature if required, if you're working electronically. However you secure it is up to you as long as it's in line with that Data Protection Act. But what it does do by working like this is ensures that it's correct, it's all legal, and should there be any issues, you are in fact protected. So very rarely there are, but just in case, it's always worth having it. So once you've got that personal information, that can all be stored, and then we can actually start to ask Tamsin why she's here today. So we can ask all sorts of questions that will give us a little bit more information. They can be general, quite specific, but we'll give you a few examples as we work through this one now. So, what's your reason for visit today then, Tamsin? I have a pain in my right shoulder. Perfect. And how long has this been going on for? Mm, about eight weeks. Eight weeks. Okay, and did it come on suddenly or...? Mm, no, it kind of crept on. Crept on. <laughs> so is that before the eight weeks, so it's been bad for the last eight weeks or so? Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. And have you had any history of pain in this right shoulder? Uh, on and off. And how would you describe it? So, so there's pain, is it a sharp pain, dull pain? No, it's, it's a dullish pain when I move certain ways. Um, which, so what particular sort of movements, activities make it worse? I'm sort of starting to lift my arm up. To do anything up higher, it gets uncomfortable if the dog's yanking on the lead. Or okay. It's always quite uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, dog walking is a high risk activity. It can be. <laughs> um, does anything make it better? Uh, rest. Rest, which doesn't get a lot of if you're in your, if your garden and working no. all the time. Um, and have you seen anyone else for this condition? No, at all? I haven't. Okay, lovely job. And so if you were to mark on this little diagram here yeah. where it was sore, if you could put a little cross on perhaps, it would be really helpful. There, I'm kind of into through the back as well, so about there, that's the yeah. same place. Perfect, and so you're talking about this sort of area all along the top here, yeah. is that correct? Perfect. So what we've just done is gain a lot of information very quickly through some, a few very short questions really. We've established the levels of pain, that it's sort of a dull ache. We've established what makes it better, worse, and there's no other treatments um, being had to date. So we've got a lot of information which we can then take forwards onto our objective assessment. So throughout what we've done through this objective is make sure that Townsend knows what we're doing, why we need that information. I've communicated throughout and we've now got a really good starting point to work from to get information within our objective assessment. So we'll move on to that next.